In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can create some awesome 3D models for literally anything if you are a content creator, editor, or just someone that enjoys 3D modeling. It's great for thumbnails or content creation in general, and it's super easy to use. As some of you may know, I play COD on this channel, so for today's demonstration and tutorial, I'll be making simple 3D models using COD-related images like weapons and operators. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, there'll be a link in the description for this exact software if you guys are also content creators or you just want to play around with 3D and check out some cool things you can make with AI. All right, guys, here I am in the software and you can see we have a lot of cool 3D models that other people have made with this software. It's super cool. You can turn 2D objects into 3D models. So I have a little picture of a like 1911 right here. I'll actually like open it more so you can see what it looks like. This is what it is. It's just 2D, completely flat. If I drag this right into this upload picture spot and press generate now, it's going to generate a 3D model based off this picture. It's going to be completely 3D. It's super, super cool. It does take a little bit of time. And with this certain one, since I'm not paying for it, I do have a certain amount of uh, generation time. But you guys can check this out for yourself and test it. I'll have the link in the description. It's super, super cool. But now all we have to do is wait. It uses AI to sort of just assess and kind of like analyze the picture and make it into a 3D object, including the textures as well. And it actually allows you to have it in the PBR format format which is compatible with blender and uh maya and lots of other 3d softwares it's pretty it's pretty you know popular amongst 3d softwares as you can see it's already got the like gun in place it looks actually super epic already and it hasn't even textured it yet if you guys don't know i do have a second channel and i use 3d models all the time for different characters and different operators in the game so having something like this to where i don't have to dig into the game files and i can just be more creative with the stuff is super super cool we're going to try this out on some operators too and see just how well it works in operators because that's that's something i'm really curious about i know guns you know it's somewhat easy you can find the shape of a gun pretty easily but what about an actual operator okay it is just about done let's see how this turned out Oh, there it is, and wow, that looks really good. You can even see the uh, like the, the maps are actually great. You can even see the normal, yeah, the normal maps. You got the uh, albedo, the just regular like bland one, and then of course the textured. And I mean, look how it turned out. We went from this image to a 3D model, and like it's it's basically perfect, guys. Look at that. That is pretty nice. And of course, if I did want to go ahead and download this and export this as a file that I can import to a 3D software. You can just press download right here. It's going to make a complete file for me, including all the textures, the normal maps and albedo and all that. And boom, I can import into Blender, no problem. They even have different formats. So OBJ is another really good one that people use a lot. MP4 might not work only because that's not a Blender model. That's more of a uh, video file format. Same with uh, GIF, but that's fine. FPX, OBJ, these are definitely gonna work out. I think USDZ as well. So now I'm curious, let's try this guy, we got the Trailblazer Operator from Call of Duty Warzone. This is going to be interesting. I want to see how this works. I don't know if he's going to get the words in here. I, I I was thinking about cutting only the Operator out, but let's just see what happens. Boom, Trailblazer. This might take a minute. I'm not sure how long this is going to take because it is a lot more than just a gun. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, this is taking 20 minutes. So it's taking a minute. It definitely wasn't seven minutes, but what? Wow, this looks insane. This at it looks so much like. Hold on, let me see the picture again. Oh, and it didn't it didn't include the word words, so I guess it's smart enough to know exactly what to actually turn into a model. It even centered it and everything, even though this isn't like exactly centered. They no, so far it's done a really good job with the actual geometry. Let's see how it does with the textures. I mean, this isn't like a it's a two D image, but it is kind of like already three D looking. But still, it has to turn into a 3D object you can use in real 3D space like Blender. So, yeah, I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to turn out. All right, it's done. Let's see. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Well, it didn't get their entire legs, but neither does the picture. The picture doesn't really have the entire legs either. It definitely looked like a lot more like this when it was uh, in its white mold, but still... It's a 3D object and it did a good job, even though there's a cape on it. That's cool. And if you actually like pay attention, you can see all the details, like all the badges, it's all this like chest, all of this uh like equipment that he has on, his watch, even some of the like scars and his or tattoos on his arm. It did a pretty good job with the detail. Obviously, it looks like polygonish. That could be because of the style I have it set up to as well. I forgot to uh mention that. I might have it on a certain style to where it renders it in more of like a polygon style maybe 
I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know the software all the way through. But for what it's worth, it does look cool. That's that's a fact. It does look cool. It just doesn't look like super realistic like this, obviously. But you can definitely still use it for content. I mean, this this I I would use this for sure. This is cool. Ah uh, yeah, there's different models as well. So maybe if I used a different one, it would have came out differently. Hmm. I'm going to call that one successful. It did a really good job, even though it, yeah, like I said, I mean, obviously you're not going to get it to look just like this, not yet at least, but who knows in the future, it might get way better. So you guys know I do Call of Duty stuff, but I actually do want to see what would happen if you put like an actual person's face. So we're just going to get a picture of Dr. House up here. Oh, that one didn't work. Let's try this one. Okay. We have, the, we have Dr. House up here. I, I'm gen, I'm genuinely curious of what this is going to turn out to be. Okay. The geometry for this is done. I don't, I don't know what to think about it yet. I'm not sure if this was really made for stuff like this. I mean, maybe you could definitely see him. You definitely see the angle. But the, uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably not gonna look exactly like him because that would be kind of crazy. <laughs> I think I don't think this is what it was intended for, but it does. Oh, wow. It does look like house. Like if I saw this, I'd be like, oh, that's house. I definitely think there's like a, I have a style thing on. Like I have like a, um, like a uh, style template sort of thing. So that's probably why it's turning out the way that it is in this specific style, which is cool. It's fine. Um, but this actually looks really cool still. Don't know what I would use this for, but it's cool nonetheless. Okay, enough of the goofy stuff. Let's actually do one more thing that I could actually see myself doing in a video. All right, to finish it off, we're gonna actually do the uh, Juggernaut, like my favorite Perca Cola from all Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this one out. I know a lot of you guys would be like, "Oh, that's bland. All it does is it makes it harder for you to kill." But I don't know. I've always liked the way. Uh, it looks and I like the name of it, like Juggernaut. That's cool. This might not take too long because it's not as big as uh, that one or like house. So this one might be kind of easy. All right, all done. And it looks very, very polygonish, but it somewhat got the image. I mean, the image I chose wasn't like the greatest resolution. I won't lie. It does look like, I don't know, Black Ops 2. Maybe Black Ops 1's Juggernaut. So it's, uh, it's definitely old. And it didn't exactly get the... Uh, the actual words right here. But it got the symbol down. All in all, though, as for a shape, like if you were just having this as an asset or just something for a video, no one's going to tell the difference. Everyone knows exactly what this is. It's Juggernaut and it is a 3D model, so you can implement it into Blender or whatever. And the cool thing about AI is that it's always learning and it's always going to keep getting better. So you know, maybe a month from now or even a couple weeks from now, a lot of these issues may be gone entirely. But for what it is, it has made some pretty insane 3D models off of just 2D images. It's actually really, really cool. Listen, if you do want to check this out, there will be a link in the description for this. I'll have everything you guys need in the description. And if you guys have any questions at all, be sure to comment them down below. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always.